One thing I can say about the Joe Budden fans, they might be some of the biggest glazers of all time. But I understand because I be glazing too, dog. I'm going to tell you a story, dog. Probably back in like February or something like that. Like I seen Imani at the sex um, at that mall in Jersey. I forgot the name of the mall, but the one where it's like they got the, um, they got like the outdoor or the indoor ski lodge and all that kind of stuff. They got the Nickelodeon stuff there. It's like a big ass mall in Jersey near the Giant Stadium. I seen him there at sex. Um, and that was like one of my highlights of the day at that time, dog. Cause for one, it's like this. I don't really watch TV. I listen to music. I'm a fan of maybe two, three podcasts, Joe Budden is so shameless, Balter, but I don't watch TV. Like, and to be honest with you, I might not even listen to so, so shameless or Balter every week. The only thing I really watch might be Joe Budden or some workout stuff on YouTube. So I literally only watch Joe Budden and I have the Patreon I watch for hours and hours and hours. So me seeing a money was like a big thing. Like I didn't go crazy or ask for no pick or nothing like that. To me, it was dope, but it was like, yo, it was dope. You know, this is the only shit I watch. It's dope seeing that these niggas are actually real people in real life. Like, you know, you you never see them. So it's like, is this nigga even exist? Like, or whatever. But I seen him. I gave him a head nod. That's it. But, um, when it comes to all these podcasts, Joe Budden, all that shit, I used to watch Brilliant Idiots, Tax Season, and every podcast back in the day. But the only one that stood around for all this time was Joe Budden. So I listened to hours and hours and hours of that shit. So it's understandable how these Joe Budden fans are becoming glaciers. Because once you listen to somebody for 10 hours a week for years and years and years, you consider that nigga a friend. Like, real shit. Like, if it... If I was out somewhere and, and I seen somebody jumping Joe Budden, I would probably run up and jump. Like, I would take it personal. Like, not only Joe Budden, but all the other co-hosts. I would take it personal. Like, they my actual friends or something like that. So I see how these niggas are, you know, glazing these dudes. Or, but going on Clubhouse and arguing like a little-ass kid, bro, that's uncalled for, bro. A bunch of grown-ass men with kids and wives and stuff cursing each other out for no reason to gain attention from Joe Budden. It's disgusting and it's diabolical, dog. I'm a fan of Joe, Rory, and Maul, but outside these YouTube videos, I be chilling, listening to the podcast. That's it, bro. These niggas really about to fist fight to get Joe Butter's attention, dog. These niggas is bugging. They need to find something better to do. Digital thugs them out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Yeah, 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 Okay, I'm gonna mute the stage because all I you know is so crazy. You go to a Juice Wayne space, you hear hey, Dub, can you hear me? Hold up, man. I'm muting people because all I hear is screaming as I'm doing my face facial regimen. And it's disturbing the tranquility that normally comes with my regimen. So please just let each other scream. Don't talk over each other. We have 727 people that do want to hear each point. Nah, fuck that nigga. He can eat a dick because he got your, your no, mother. He doing all dick, that shit and he only got nigga. 17. You, all you do is Nicole, fuck, you nigga. said it's Stop easy to pop off spaces, niggas, but man. you got Tack hey, and Rocky in there with 17 views, nigga. The fuck you talk? I don't even know why you on the stage, nigga. You got no stripes, nigga. The fuck? Can we all just go one by one so we can hear the insults? You got your head. All right, y'all are getting ridiculous. If you do it again, I'm going to have to remove you from the stage. <laughs>